Society, Mu Alpha Theta, the Science Honor Society. He participated on the basketball team throughout high school and has served in class office. An elementary teacher's report card comment observed that Colin demonstrated effort and desire for excellence in every academic area. He takes his work seriously and never hesitates to help a student in need. He will continue his studies next year at the University of Florida. I'm pleased to present this salutatorian for the class of 2015, Mr. Colin Donner. sweat through a graduation gown. <laughs> Before I begin, there's one thing I must do. With that, I ask for the last time as an LCS student, can I get a shout out? Yay! Graduates, parents, esteemed faculty and administration, good evening and thank you all for coming. Congratulations to all of you students and it's an honor to be here giving what Urban Dictionary affectionately refers to as the first loser speech. <laughs> I want to thank the faculty and parents personally. Without you, we would not have made it here. I know there were many struggles along the way and times we pushed you to your limits. But without your dedication and persistence, we would not have made it here tonight. Now to the class of 2015. It has been a long and interesting journey with all of you. When asked to describe our grade, one word that most came to mind was different. Tucker affirmed this in his speech yesterday, that we are a class that has rejected the norm and stood out. If Tucker's word isn't enough, then trust in songwriter and philosopher Kid Cuddy, who stated, people are going to wonder why you're di trying to be different. It's just a natural instinct. If I was to walk down the street and kill, them dudes would wonder why I'm doing that. They'd think I was different. That's the whole reason for trying to switch things up. Don't judge a book by its cover. Embrace being different. I would be remiss if I did not include the obstacles that we faced. We endured hardship, some more than others, but hardship nonetheless. We tasted defeat in the football state semifinal and the girls state final. Those were heartbreaking moments, but some of our class faced real tragedies. And this year alone, three of our classmates lost a parent. That is true hardship. It was an amazing sight to watch all of you rally behind each other, offering strength and love in a godly manner. I have never been more encouraged and proud to be a part of this class. As we move from this school to the next, we carry with us not only our education, but also our life lessons, some of which include never eat a tuna slash chicken salad sandwich in class, <laughs> and still over debate which one actually was, and ask Chris if the consequences last a lifetime. <laughs> Run from ignition any situation involving shaving cream, unless you want a concussion. Do not take any drinks from Alex, as Gavin learned on the retreat. Brent, don't touch the football. <laughs> and Jacob, avoid all hurdles. We as a class are distinct from those around us. Throughout our high school career, we have made around 15 state tournament appearances, with our softball team winning this championship for the first time in school history. When we weren't dominating athletics, we soared academically and musically. And in our spare time, we came up with new games, seeing who could steal the most items off of Daniel's desk to human jousting in Misanku's room. And at one point, we even had a club, or a workout club slash cult. Shalom Fitness Forever. <laughs> As we near our graduation, some may try to leave their past behind, but I only wish two of you to do so. Yes, James and Tucker, I'm referring to your old chunky selves. Rest in peace. <laughs> I know I make light of our journey, but I want to end on a serious note. As I mentioned before, many of you are eager to go to college and move beyond LCS. I am not naive enough to believe that all of us share the same beliefs, and this saddens me. However, I will put my trust in God's sovereignty. We are young and we have much to learn and experience. We have our lives planned out, and we think we see how they will end up. Do not be surprised if God has a different plan for you. We are guaranteed to face trials and tribulations in this world. In order to overcome these adversities, we must rely on a firm foundation in Christ that our families, churches, and schools have helped to establish in us. Albert Einstein said it best, education is what remains after one has forgotten what one has learned in school. 
This is what Lakeland Christian has given us, the motto we have heard numerous times, as Dr. Sly just said, education in the light of God's word will be what follows us. They have prepared us not in what to learn, but how to learn, not in what to think, but how to think. As we head into the world, remember what has been taught and utilize what LCS has engraved in us to further God's kingdom. Steve Marboli said, my past has not defined me, destroyed me, deterred me, or defeated me. It has only strengthened me. With that, I charge you not to forget the past, but to remember your roots. Let them strengthen you and take heart, for Jesus has overcome the world. I have no doubt that what we face will be daunting, but with Christ as our cornerstone, nothing can shake us. It has been an amazing ride, and I love all of you and wish you the best. Never forget where you came from and whom we represent. Thank you.